my YouTube. So it's been like two months since I've <laughs> updated anything on my YouTube channel. I have, I think the last video I was in a Filofax Malden. I've since switched over to um, the Moterm Lux in the color Lilac. I've been wanting this color for so long that I finally decided to purchase it when they had one of their like recent restocks. Um, I'm sorry. I'm currently filming with my hand. I don't have a tripod still, <laughs> but um, so yeah, I'm actually still in the, I'm st I've been in this for maybe about a month now. Um, I'm going to be honest. The reason why I haven't been filming anything is because I've been feeling kind of like I'm in a little bit of a funk with this planner. Um, and I think I figured out why. It's likely because it's just so chunky. Um, and that's fine. I, I actually really like the look of chunky planners. Like, look how cute. Look how cute this little baby is. Um, but the fact is, I just added way too much deco and like title pages or whatever dashboards and covers and things like that that it's been becoming really quite overwhelming for me that I realize like I haven't been really flipping through it as often as I should and it's just so thick that I've even resorted to taking off the flyleaf because with the flyleaf I wasn't even able to like flip the pages. Uh, so I'll, I'll just do a quick flip through um, of my current setup. So I have a um, Polaroid fo Fujifilm Instax cam picture that I have here of my boyfriend and I and my cat a few years ago. Um, I took that off. I usually clip it with an Ollie clip. In here, I don't think I have much in here. Yeah, I don't think random stickies, post-it notes that don't stick onto my planner, some private info from my bank. In this folder, I also have um, a password, oh shoot, oh my gosh, a password tracker that, I think this one is from, I forgot, I'll find it, but from my personal side that I haven't <laughs> migrated over to here yet. In the front, I have a, acrylic sticky note divider tab thing from Fox and Pip. I have like random notes in here that I usually jot random things down in here. Extra sticky notes, a reminder to not drink coffee after 2 p.m. These are, this was a freebie. I just don't know where I got the freebie from, but I have the whole year printed out and I just usually hole punch it and put it to the front so that I can see easily when I'm referencing the months. Um, this is my inbox dashboard from Cloth and Paper, random post-its that I keep here, which this is done so I can toss. Here I'm keeping extra post-it notes, like these nude color, I think this is from AliExpress. Um, these dashboards are from 15 Pro on Instagram. She has really cute dashboards. I think she she makes, she draws these herself. So they're really cute. And I just wanted to keep like a summer vibe going on in here, which is why I have her on the subway. My inbox insert that I need to finish out soon. Uh, random things that I need to buy for the home. The um, other things. The, this is my to-do list for the summer uh, while I'm here living in New York. It's my first summer here. Stuff I need to do for my health. Things to purchase. This was my trip planner. So I haven't even taken out some of these inserts. I have went on my trip to Boston and Providence like a few weeks ago and I still haven't taken them out. So that'll help with a chunk. I'm sorry, this is really hard to do with one hand. Ben. <laughs> ben. 
I'm gonna. Ben, can you help? Oh no. Wait, I'll just. Okay, thanks. Yay! My assistant, Ben. Sorry, hold on, let me. It's so chunky. Okay. Okay, so where was I? Uh, yeah, um, freebie from Cloth and Paper that I hole punched. Another item from 15 Prill. This is so cute, perfect for the summer because it's like a traveling thing. Um, it's a magnet bookmark that I just keep in this folder. This is also from Cloth and Paper, the folder. Post-it notes. This is supposed, my first divider is supposed to be my tracker section. Um, I kind of switch things around from like my Filofax and I kind of don't like how this is. It's very confusing for me. So likely I'm going to switch back to my original method with my Filofax. But this is supposed to be my tracker section. Morning routine, quotes that I added. This is also from the planner spot. Cloth and paper dash. A freebie from Maria Plans. Goals. I talked about this on my previous video. This is a cause, something inspired by Amanda Lay Plans here on YouTube. My period tracker. Reoccurring tasks list. I don't really use lists, so I think I might take this out. Um, spring cleaning task management for me to refer to. This is for my desk makeover video that I was doing and I'm planning. So I hopefully will have that. My task management. Oh, this is also a task management from Peanuts Planner Co. I also keep track of how to care for my many plants here. If you can see, I have a whole bunch of plants. Yup. <laughs> So that's how I keep track of my plants. The next page I keep is my password tracker, also from Peanuts Planner Co. Here is a recommendations insert from Cloth and Paper. I don't really use it that much, um, but it's nice to have. I also have a freebie. It's an add to planner insert. I'm not sure where I got this from. Oh, Studio L2E. I also have a random planners wish list. I really want the, these planners. Um, and I actually just purchased a secondhand Filofax croc in the color font. So I'm really excited about that. Um, these are freebies, like they're at handles. Um, I just covered it up here, but these are like emergency contacts or my personal information, um, Peanuts Planner Co. Insert Checklist. And this section, now we're leading into my second tab. I have an acetate sheet here, the uh, Morning Mindset half sheet from Cloth and Paper, acetate from Peanuts Planner Co., dashboard from Cloth and Paper, and a random vellum that I purchased from I think Michaels. So this is technically my goals section. So I have another freebie from Maria Plans and I kind of printed them double-sided so I, that I don't have like blank sheets. Quotes. This is actually a feelings wheel. Um, I'm like adding that into kind of my goal section just because I'm trying to get a handle more on my life and <laughs> Here's a cloth and paper dashboard. I do weekly weigh-ins and I keep track of them here every Saturdays at 3 p.m. Um, so that's why it's covered. This is a goals and rewards insert from um, Penis Planner Co. that I use for losing weight. It's not been going that well. Um, measurements insert, body measurements insert also from Penis Planner Co. and I just printed it like so that I didn't have double. Um, also from Penis Planico, menu and workouts. I don't really like this insert, um, mainly because I already have like trackers in my weekly plan. So it's kind of difficult to like move back and forth between sections every day. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this next. I think I'm gonna change it out 
um, starting this month. We'll see. I also keep a grocery guide here. Also, I think these are freebies from Peanuts Planner Co. Conversions dashboard from cloth and paper and random recipes that I write down that I want to try. I'll probably have to get like a recipe box soon because I can't just keep hoarding them in my planner. Now we're in my schedule section right here. I just, this is a acetate sheet from Peanuts Planico. I think you saw it earlier. And I just stuck on one of those like business card holders and I just put a freebie from Cotton Paper here. Um, so this is like my index. So anytime I'm doing something in the week, I can just flip, pull this flap out and reference that because I often forget what, how I color coded. Um, so that's here. And I just keep a year at a glance. That's from the Filofax company. Also another like page, I don't know, dashboard title page from Maria Plans. I also printed it front and back, but I kind of messed up. Also a freebie. And this is where I keep track of people's birthdays. So I reference this each month. Um, also from Peanuts Planner Co. This is my private information for school. For example, like my student ID number and all of that. My summer school tracker, I guess. Um, also the overview for the Peanuts Planner Co. So for my monthlies, I use the freebies that Peanuts Planner Co. provides on their Facebook. So this is from April. June, and then now we're in July. And this is also a freebie from the planner spot that I cut down to size. And I use like a self laminating sheet here. It's my birthday month. So this is for July, Jan August. Um, I haven't really forward planned yet, September, but I keep the full month here just because I, I think this is only like, I keep about six months in here. Um, this indicates my weekly section also from 15 Pro. I even have some weeklies from May, so I do need to take these out. These are the freebies from Peanut Planner Co. I'm kind of a messy planner. And I switched over to the weeks on one page once um, the semester ended for me, just because I have a little, a lot less going on. So this is the current, no, no, this is now last week. I was using dailies here. Um, today page, I bookmark from, I think Annie Plans Printables. This is the current week that we are on. And I just have some extra pages. This is the daily pages. I rarely plan using daily inserts, so I just keep these here just in case. But I don't, I don't really use them. So the fourth, um, no, the, is this the fourth? Yeah, this is the fourth <laughs> divider in my planner. Now this is supposed to be the productivity um, section. I also stuck on one of those business card holders on my divider. Um, and I think this little planner card is from Planning with Aloe. No, Aloe's Creative Corner. This is also, uh, what is this material called? Vellum from, I think Michael's, I'm not sure. And I just stuck a sticker on there from my vaccine. Another dashboard. I think this one is from Flora. Oh my God, I can't even see it. 
fluorite and paper. I can't, I can't even see it. Um, so that's what I have here. These are just meeting note inserts from Simple and Trendy Co. I just keep them here for when I need to remember when I'm on like a phone call or something. Just real quick notes. Content Planner, I rarely use this, but Peanuts Planner Co. Project Planner, I just keep this here just in case, but I don't really use them either. Another dashboard layering from 15 Prill. I think it goes really well with the summary travel vibes. Fourth section is supposed to be my finance section. Um, I don't have a lot going on, but <laughs> this is another cover page. The bills and subscriptions list on how much money is going out on a monthly, quarterly, and annual basis. So I, that's where I keep track of that. I think this is from, I'm not sure where this one's from. I'll find it, I think it's from Etsy, but I'll find it and put it down below. I keep track of all the purchases I make for my cat. So I see how much I'm spending as the days go by and how much she costs annually. I also keep track of how much I spend on planner stuff and this is my this is how much I've been spending I haven't calculated it yet it's I'm a little nervous but it's been in the span from January, February, March, April April to June so we'll see um, I also make a bunch of unnecessary purchases on AliExpress so I decided to track that as well skincare tracking Amazon. I buy way too much stuff on Amazon, so I don't think I'm going to track that here. I don't want to see that. Um, savings tracker. I don't really use this. I was thinking to save for a new tattoo, but uh, I don't think I, I should. Um, but this is my general savings. And tracking. Uh, general savings tracker. And then here is my wish list. And finally, my last divider is just a notes page section. So this is also vellum from, I think Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I don't know, one of those stores. And all a sticker from my vaccination. And random notes. These are just random things. I'll usually write random stuff and I'll just tear it out. And this is where the bulk of my chunk comes from, I think. Just so much paper. I also recently cut this down from my old Stalogy, so it's really thin and nice. And on the back here, oh yeah, these are, I love, I love the Filofax to-do inserts. I always save them. I don't know why I like them so much. Anyways, here in the back, I have a top-loading folder thing. I think this came as a freebie. I don't know where I bought this. I have a whole bunch of them though. I think I bought them from Amazon. I have a die cut from Plant So Cute. She's so cute. Um, Kita washi samples here in the back. I often kind of forget that I have this here though. Some extra stickers here, like freebies, stickers, even like a planning card that I keep just for reference. Here I have washi samples, another COVID vaccine thing. <laughs> um, these bookmarks are so beautiful from Aloe's Creative Corner. And these are the rest of the calendars, monthly calendars at a glance for the freebies that I had in the front on my planner. And then I just keep those here. On the back, I just keep my two Hobonichi stencils. And my main back pocket, I don't, I just keep, this is my health insurance card. Um, I'm kind of planning my new, <laughs> planning again how I wanna plan my planner or how I wanna utilize my planner. So that's what, I, this, these are extra notes on how I wanna use my new planner. I also have a Hobonichi folder in the back for, and I also keep random stickers in here. So that was a really long video. I hope 
that it was useful in some way or not but um yeah thank you so much for watching bye so thank you so much for watching i hope these are useful um i'm gonna try to get back into filming more videos i feel like i've been really slacking in that department and i do want to film just because i really like keeping track of what i used to how i used to plan and it also makes me feel like i'm not wasting so much paper so i do hope this was useful in some way but i'm gonna throw these inserts away now i please tell can you guys please share with me what you guys do with your leftover inserts i i i don't know i feel so bad throwing these away like they're they have stickers on them and it's just i don't know i'd really like to know what you guys do and how you guys preserve it if you guys just throw them out if you guys save them why do you save them um, but yeah.